Hi, welcome back to Tumble Gymnastics. It's me, Craig Heap, former Olympic gymnast. And in this series, we're gonna look at headstands and handstand practice. Remember, it's all about being physically active, which is great for our bodies and our mind and well-being. Let's head inside and check out this episode. Hi guys, welcome back to Tumble. Um, I'm Paula and this is Craig, and we're gonna show you a bit on headstands and handstands today. Now, as you can see, we have our little headstand mat. Now, you're not going to have one of these at home, but it's just to show you where your hands and your head needs to be in a, he in a headstand. So you're making a triangle shape. So you can see at the bottom, you've got your hand placements, and at the top, the big circle, that's where your head goes that makes the triangle, okay? So remember, make sure you have plenty of space around you. You can put blankets down, mats down, whatever you have, just make sure that you are nice and safe. And if you roll forward, you've got something to roll into. So it's really great to do a headstand, maybe just by your sofa, um, just in case you roll forward, or you might have some cushions just to help you. So I'm gonna put them to the side now, because don't need that. Okay, so the first thing with a headstand, we're gonna just do a couple of bunny hops, just so we can make sure that we have our hands nice and flat and we've got weight on our hands. So we're just gonna put our hands down and just do a little bunny hop on the floor. That's it. So we're keeping our arms nice and straight on this one. Keep those arms nice and straight, not going too high. You can see that my head's stuck out, just where it's gonna make that little triangle shape. Great, okay. So now for the headstand. So we're gonna put our hands down and our hands need to be shoulder width apart. And we're just going to place, we can go on our knees on this part. We're gonna place our head at the top of the triangle. So that's all we're gonna do, place our head there. This is building our arm strength as well. We could do a few of those and press back up again. Arm straight, that's it. Okay guys, so this time we're gonna put our hands flat, make that triangle with our head. Walk our feet up and just lift one leg there, hold it there, put your foot down and walk back to your start position. Off you go, have a go. That's it. As you can see with my elbows, they're not out, they're in. Okay, so down here, walk out. Can you see my elbows are in towards my side? And I'm going to lift this time, we're going to see if we can lift the other leg, pop it down, and then walk back out again. The elbows in, walk your feet, and then just quickly tap the other foot, and then back down, that's it, fab. Really good, really good. Okay, if you can do that, and you're balancing really well, then you're gonna try and lift one leg right up. So we're gonna go walking up, then lift one leg up, as high as you can, back down, and then walk back out. And remember, for safety, if you've got the sofa here, which is nice and soft, or you've got somebody to help you to make sure you don't go over the top, Paula, just do that again for me. So remember, think about the triangle, walk yourself up, then extend that leg. The person can always help support and stop you coming over the top. But if you've got a sofa or loads of cushions here, and you do go over the top, you'll be nice and safe, okay? So triangle position. Elbows in. Elbows in. Balance if you can, fantastic. Do you want to try and join the other one straight as well? Brilliant. That's it, and back down. Fantastic. As you can see there, there were quite a few different variations, so that was really good. And if you're really good at it, you can crawl up. Go up to the handstand. See how long you can hold it. You can do some different shapes with your legs and just play around with that shape. Back down, and up you go, and that's your headstand. Okay guys, now we've done the headstand, we go on to the handstands. So it's quite similar, you're just gonna have straight arms on this one. So if you've got a chair, a sofa, um, a step, 
as long as you've got something in front of you just in case you roll because obviously we want you to be nice and safe make sure you have blankets or again duvets cushions anything that you could pad out just in case you roll just to make sure you're super safe okay with a handstand again our hands need to be nice and flat and this time our arms need to be super straight okay if we bend them that's when we then we end up rolling forwards all right so the first thing we're going to do we're going to put our hands flat on the floor straight arms and pop our feet on something that's raised. So we're gonna walk out into a front support shape. Nice tight body. And then walk our hands in. So our bottom's in the air. And then walk our hands back out. Can you see I've got nice flat hands and I've got nice straight arms. Would you like to have a go at that then, guys? So not only this is good for balance, but it's also good at strengthening up those shoulders because you need super strong shoulders to be able to do a handstand position. Uh, and as Paul suggested, this could be your armchair or your sofa uh, to practice on. That's it, and you could do five to ten of those. Remember, what we're looking for is a nice, tight, straight back. So we don't want to see any bendy bananas like that when we're walking out. Nice, tight back. Squeeze your tummy in your bottom. Up we go, straight arms and then back out. Okay, fantastic, great. So the next thing we're gonna do, once we've done that, we get into our front support shape, nice and tight. We're gonna walk our hands up and we're gonna lift one leg. See if we can get it right up, hold it there, then back down, walking up again, building that strength, and then we can rest. Okay, do you wanna try that one? Okay, guys, let's give this a go. Tight body, squeeze your bottom in that front support shape. Tight leg, squeeze that leg at the top. That's it, hold it there, then back down. And then walk your hands back out to your front support shape, tight body, and relax. Fantastic. Remember, this is quite a difficult exercise to do and you need lots of strength in the shoulders. So the longer you can hold that position in front support with your leg in the air, the stronger you'll become and the easier it will be later on to be able to hold that handstand. And remember, you don't have to go on to the next thing. If you're struggling with the one before, you just keep practicing that until you've built your strength. So, the next thing we do, front support shape. We're gonna walk our hands up. We're gonna lift that leg, and the same with the headstand. Try to lift, tap that foot, and then come back down. Foot down, walk out, again, building that strength. You're gonna have a go? So remember, keep that body really tight and make sure you've got something just behind you in case you fall over the top. You might have a grown-up or an older brother or sister that could maybe hold your leg for you just to help you, just like this. Put your hat, go on then, you go. Lift that leg up and then tap to join, tap it and then back down, tap. And then that will stop you from going over the top. Now, if you've got a wall at home, most people have a wall, and it's okay with your grown-ups, you can walk your feet up the wall, make that handstand shape with your body by the wall, and then see how long you can hold that for. Remember, straight arms, and really push those shoulders out. So if you've got somebody with you, ideally an adult, you can practise walking up. They can stand here, and when you practise kicking off the wall, yeah, and if you come too far, as so though you're gonna go over the top, Look, she's gonna fall, oh, and I'm there. And you can stop the person from falling, hold the legs and they can walk back down slowly. You can bend your legs in. And nice and safe, yeah. Remember, you've got loads of cushions and pillows and duvets in your house. Surround this area with as many soft things as possible. So if you're practicing on your own and you do fall over the top, you've got something nice and soft. So guys, uh, from me and Paula and the rest of the guys at Tumble, we hope you've enjoyed your little gymnastic workout. Lots of things to practice, but remember, be as safe as possible. And enjoy. And enjoy it. Bye.